Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Lorenzo Di Mattia, manager of Hedge Invest Sibilla Macro Fund. I wanted to tell you what we have done in December and uh, give you the outlook for uh, 2020. December was a good month. We closed up almost 1%. Uh, we closed up almost 4% for the year. Uh, we're disappointed by the number for the year, um, especially because in the first quarter of the year, we could have done a lot better if we were long. However, uh, we need to mention that uh, we closed up uh, in 2018 as well, where a lot of funds closed down. So we didn't have any loss to recover in 2019. And um, in fact, we are at the top of the NAV. Every investor with us is making money today. Um, that said, the strategy improved over the course of the year. Uh, we are now um, a lot more old weather strategy. Uh, not only do we protect the portfolio during um, market um, corrections and their market like we have done in the past 10, 13 years actually, um, that we've been running money for institutions, but uh, last time we did that was in the fourth quarter of 2018, we closed, we closed up. Um, but we also uh, good at making money during um, uptrends. In the second half of the year, there was uh, the market continued to go up and we, we made money. And it wasn't actually a very strong uptrend. There have been a couple of corrections. Uh, so we're pretty happy about that. Uh, we've done pretty well since June. Um, with respect to December, most of our positions worked. Uh, we were long precious metal stocks, uh, Argentinian banks, some energy stocks, and some selected tech companies. Um, we sold most of our longs toward year end as uh, the market started to look parabolic. And uh, we expected a correction even last month, but our quantitative model didn't confirm that. So we did not short outright. We only bought volatility futures to hedge our longs. And that worked too, actually, and we closed these positions toward month end. In 2020, we expect a very different year versus 2019. We're starting the year with extreme positioning, extreme optimism. It's quite the opposite versus 2019, which started with indices down almost 20% from the peak and extreme pessimism and extremely light positioning. So 2020 will be much harder for uh, passive strategies, in our opinion. And uh, it's likely that it will be similar to 2018. In 2018, the market rallied in January and then uh, started to correct 12% uh, in February and then had a couple more corrections over, um, until uh, October and then they had a minus 20%. Uh, so we, we think that the first half of the year will be um, similar. So corrections are like 7 to 12% in major indices which will be bought. So the market is likely to go back to the highs even maybe a little higher. And then the second half is, is likely to be a lot more volatile. So we, uh, we want to take advantage of those moves. Uh, we're ready to short and we expect a correction in the first quarter. So right now, again, our quantitative model doesn't confirm yet, so we're not short yet, but uh, we still have some long positions we, we bought back in, in January after the Iran scare. But um, we believe that after the trade deal, um, January 15, risks are going to be high of a, of a pretty, uh, pretty sharp uh, and nasty correction. Um, now, uh, we have themes for the year, uh, solar, electric vehicles, uh, alternative energy in general, energy as well as OPEC is cutting production pretty aggressively. Um, and we believe emerging markets will outperform. So we'll be buying uh, baskets of these teams and emerging markets after correction. Uh, to play the short side, we will buy volatility and we're concentrated uh, probably shorting the DAX and the Nikkei and, uh, and the NASDAQ. Uh, and we will do that through puts, put options and futures. Interest rates will probably go up some in the first quarter because expectations for economic growth will pick up 
a little bit, China is stimulating, and as per now, even if it's, in our opinion, uh, tactical and temporary, it seems that, and it feels like the economy is strengthening a bit. Um, we expect rates to go back down in the second half of the year as the economy will not strengthen. Um, we just had actually a nasty uh, PMI number uh, in the US, the manufacturing data. Uh, we printed um, 47.2, which is the lowest level since September 2008. And I'm talking about when the PMI is above 50 and drops below 50 and goes to 47.2. So that, the last time it dropped from 50 to 47.2 was after Lehman failed. So we're talking about deep recession. Uh, it's true that Boeing has um, an impact on manufacturing in the US. However, that's, that's not the whole story. So data in aggregate have been pretty weak and any pickup in our opinion is going to be sort of tactical, um, mostly due to sentiment rather than fundamental and sustainable. Um, central banks are printing like never before. The Fed is actually buying $100 billion a month of securities. Even if they said they would buy 60, their repos are not reversing and they're lasting a lot longer. So the liquidity, that's why we're not bearish. We're not too bearish for the first half and we believe corrections will be bought. The liquidity uh, the Fed is injecting in the system is enormous. So uh, this is also a reason why we believe precious metals will be doing well. Um, we tactically sold them, but we'll buy them back uh, soon. Um, I already discussed oil. Uh, in effect, we believe the dollar will start dropping and we're already positioned long the Australian dollar. We will probably add the Canadian dollar and maybe even the Euro later this year um, and I believe I discussed everything again happy new year uh, and thank you everyone